Flu season has passed for us, but a strain of flu is on the rise for our pumps. For more on how to identify the symptoms, here's the Nebraska Humane Society's Pam Weiss. Recently, there's been a lot in the news about the canine influenza outbreak in Chicago. We've gotten questions from people about, is it here and what should I look for in my pets? So today, a little bit more about canine influenza. The latest from the veterinary community is that the outbreak in Chicago is from a strain of virus that was in Asia. So while your pet may have even gotten a flu vaccination, that shot may not be effective against this strain. It's currently in Chicago, but it's probably only a matter of time before spreading. Canine influenza is spread through respiratory secretions and also contact with contaminated objects, like a contagious dog's bowl or kennel. So to avoid the flu, not sharing bowls or beds, staying out of the dog park, not letting dogs play and mouth each other, and disinfecting toys and other contact items can cut down on the spread. Symptoms are similar to kennel cough and can include persistent moist cough, lethargy, sneezing, nasal or eye discharge, low fever, and reduced appetite. The good news is canine influenza affects these guys the same way the flu affects us. So with proper diagnosis and treatment, he'll recover in about two to three weeks. However, at the first sign of symptoms, you will want to check with your vet just to make sure that you get him on the proper protocols and you keep him isolated so he doesn't contaminate anybody else. Right, Scooby? That way he'll be well on the road to recovery. For the Nebraska Humane Society, I'm Pam Weiss. The Nebraska Humane Society is at 8929 Fort Street. Today and tomorrow, it's open from 10 until 5, Monday through Friday from 9 until 7. Remember, you can always look up animals and find information at nehumanesociety.org.